and gave his life that we might live. Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed Abu Ali died fighting to make our country a safer place. Although there were other heroes before him, gallant men and women who laid down their lives for us, Ali the Great rose through the ranks to symbolize the spirit of that struggle, for he became a dependable ally in life and in death. The late commander of the 272 Task Force Battalion, Malam Fatori Borno State, died on Friday, November 4, 2016, together with six of his gallant soldiers, Sergeant Moazu Ibrahim, Sergeant Husseini Jafo, Sergeant Okon Basi, CPL Chiku Simon, PTE Salisu Lawal, and Abel Seaman Patrick Paul. Ali's death was particularly painful to officers and soldiers because at one point during the operation to liberate one of the recovered territories, Mongono, he was said to have put his life on the line by frankly taking on scores of the terrorists so that wounded soldiers could be successfully evacuated from the battlefront to receive medical attention. He had driven his armored battle tank against the terrorists and fired until he ran out of ammunition. Ali's life and those of other fallen heroes epitomized the Nigerian spirit. For his gallantry and patriotism, Ali wins the prestigious Nigerian Hero Award alongside other fallen Nigerian soldiers battling the Boko Haram insurgency in the Northeast. Ladies and gentlemen, this for me is the award for the night. It's about a Nigerian hero. Heroes are few and far between in Nigeria. And I think we should please rise and give this fallen soldier a round of applause. Please let's rise to give this fallen soldier a round of applause. We'll be inviting his wife and children to please collect this award on his